Now let's do question number 3 and question number 4. Bago ang lahat, itong number 3 na ito, yung square root of 0. 0.000081, lagi na itong lumalabas sa exam last year. Itong number 3, how to answer this correctly? Bago ang lahat, gawin muna natin ito. Square root of 100 and that is 10. Square root of 10,000 and that is 100. Square root of 1 million and that is 1,000. Anong gamit nito? Kasi ang gagawin natin ay ang decimal gawin natin itong fraction. 0. 0.000081 81 over 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Bali from decimal, kung ilan yung going to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So 6 din ang zeros natin dito So fraction na siya Square root of 81 over 1 million. So, square root of 81 and that is 9 over square root of 1 million and that is 1,000. So, 9 over 1,000 and that is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, the answer here is 0 0.009. 0 0.009, that is letter C. Let's double check. 0 0.009 times 0 0.009 this is 81 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 dito yung decimal point niya so let's double check kung pari ba 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so ang answer dito ay letter C tama ang point zero zero Nine. Now, let's double check our answer by using our calculator. So, square root of point zero 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 eighty one, And the answer here is point zero zero nine. So, letter C. Another way of solving this is, focus ka sa 81. Ang 81 ay perfect square siya ng na 9. So, perfect square siya na 9. I-divide mo lang ng 2 itong decimal after sa decimal, ha? There are 6 after sa decimal. There are 6 placement, bali. So, yung 6, i-divide mo siya ng 2. Bali, 6 divided by 2. Yung mga zeros ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, that is 3. So, bali, 1, 2, 3. So, tatlong move ng decimal point to the left na sa para sa answer natin. Another way of solving this, since sa uh, actual exam naman ay may mga choices, kung sakaling nalilito kayo dyan. So, letter A, this is 9 times 9, 81. Letter B, 0 0.09 times 0 0.09, that is 81. So, bali... 0 0.09, kung i-multiply mo si 0 0.09, magiging apat ang placement ng 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hindi siya pareho. Lalo na may itong letter A, hindi pareho. Next. 0 0.009 times 0 0.009. 81. Tapos, i-count mo yung placement ng decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pariho na siya sa tanong. In other words, letter C, ang tamang sagot. Another example, number 4. Square root of 0. 0.0025. Solution number 1, hatiin itong placement ng decimal. Dalawa. So, bali, dalawa. Itong 25, 5 yan. So, 1, 2. So, ito na yung sagot. 0 0.05, dalawang placement ng decimal. Letter C. Another way of solving this is, 
gawin natin fraction, 25 over, lagyan natin ng 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Equals, square root of 25, and that is 5. Square root of 10,000, and that is 100. 5 over 100, that is equals to point. Paano ba? Sulat mo yung 5, tapos i-count mo yung zeros. 1, 2. 1, 2. So, point zero 0.05 ang answer. Another way of solving since sa actual exam, meron namang choices. I-solve mo siya pa isa, isa This is 5 times 5 and that is 25. So, mali yan. 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5 and that is 0. 0.25. 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5. 25. 1, 2. 1, 2. Dito yung point. Next, 0. 0.05 times 0. 0.05. 25. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is 0. 0. 0.0025. So, letter C ang tamang sagot. Para makasigurong tama yung sagot natin, i-double check natin sa calculator. So, square root of 0 0.0025. The answer here is 0 0.05. So, tama yung sagot natin, letter C, 0 0.05.